Welcome back to Core Data Course. My name is Andy. On this lecture, we're going to enhance the grocery app interaction with the data store. Previously, we we're using key value pair to retrieve our data. So if you go to the grocery table view controller, when we want to set our item into the grocery entities, we use the grocery set value method. And similar thing when we want to retrieve the data, we're accessing the item using value for key. So this type of interaction is very prone to user error. What if the user like mistype the attributes name? Then we're going to see failure when setting the value and when we're getting the value back. So luckily we can avoid this type of error. So let's go back to our data model. So as of right now, we have an attribute called item. And we have one entity called grocery. So right now we're going to subclass the, our model into an object. So let's go to the editor. And then there is a selection to create NS Manage Object subclass. Select that. And make sure you get the check on the grocery list and then click next. And then select the grocery entity and click next. Now we're going to set the location where we want to put our model. So I'm going to select the grocery list and cl click create. And Xcode will create two Swift files. One is for the properties with the item as the attribute and the other is grocery that swift if you want to put like some methods that belong to the grocery entities we can put it here so let's update our code right now let's go back to the grocery table view controller and at the top so instead of having groceries to be an array of ns minus object now we can have groceries as an array of grocery, the entity itself. And as for, for the load data, instead of getting the result and cast it as an NS minus object, now we can change this to array of grocery as well. The next thing that we need to update is on the add action function. So earlier we we're using the key value coding to set our grocery items. With subclassing of the NS minus object, now we can take advantage of the dot notation and Xcode code completion. So let's find our set value. So I'm going to comment out this block. And instead, we're going to create let grocery equal ns entity description dot insert new object for entity for name. And the name is going to be our grocery entity. And the manage object is going to be self manage object context and we're going to cast this as grocery now when we want to put our new item into the grocery entity we can simply use the dot notation and grocery dot item equal text field that text. So this is going to avoid any mistype using a string for the set value. And just a quick note, since we're working inside of a closure, we need to use self dot manage object context. Otherwise, Xcode will complain. Now the last thing that we need to update is how we display the record on its table view cell. So let's see on the cell for row at index path. 
So instead of using the value for key, now we can use the dot notation as well. So I'm going to comment this out. So it will be cell dot text label dot text equal grocery dot item. All right, we're done here and let's test our code. There will be no difference on the UI. However, we have successfully enhanced how we interact with core data. So let's test this out. So I'm going to add new item. Let's call it coffee. And then I'm going to stop this simulator and bring it back up. And let's go back into our grocery list app. And the coffee is still there. So in the next lecture, we will see how we can build our own core data stack. Until next time.